Hello and welcome to a special Thanksgiving edition of PVTV News. I am Caleb. And I am Brandy. The first Thanksgiving was in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Pilgrims came to Plymouth in 1621 to escape religious perse persecution in England. While there, they came into contact with a Native American Indian named Guanto, who helped them hunt and fish and survive the harsh winters. As a way to thank God for all they had, they wanted to have a Thanksgiving feast with the Indians to make peace and be thankful for everything that happened. They had another one in 1623, but after that, Thanksgiving was not celebrated as a national holiday until 1863. In the midst of the Civil War, when Abraham Lincoln declared that every fourth Thursday of every year in November, that Thanksgiving be celebrated. Thanksgiving might be one of the most co-effective meals of the year. A study was done and it showed that the average Thanksgiving meal is about $50 or $5 per person. These prices were averaged from grocery stores in 40 states. The report stated the consumers should expect to pay less than $5 per person for a classic Thanksgiving dinner. However, in some locations, the total went up to $64.39. So it was recommended that look for sales, use coupons, and def definitely use shopping lists to decrease buying. It's the dish everyone's expecting on the holidays, but it's so easy to make. You can serve it any day beyond the creamy, silky smooth sauce and unmatchable flavor. Its simplicity is what makes Campbell's green bean casserole so appealing. Just six ingredients and ten minutes to put it together. This family-pleasing side has been a favorite for over 60 years. Not only that, it's easy to make ahead the ingredients are one can of cream of mushroom, half a cup of milk, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one dash of black pepper, four cups of cooked cut green beans, and one and one third cups of fried onions. More home fires occur on Thanksgiving than on any other day of the year, and 87% of those fires are caused by cooking. In the future, families might need to be grateful that these clever students invented the fire mitt. Though many kitchens are equipped with fire extinguishers, often families either don't know where they're located or they don't know how to work them. That's why Scott Johnson and Emma Spencer designed an oven mint that can unfold into a fire blanket. Thanksgiving may be a holiday for humans, but that doesn't mean that these pups don't want to get on, get in on the fun too. This Home for the Holidays program is a sweet new initiative that pairs shelter dogs with temporary foster homes for Thanksgiving week. The project, which was created by the Lifeline Animal Project in Atlanta, Georgia, is finding families to take in 20 of their loneliest shelter dogs for the coming week. Fostering animals is an invaluable resource for rescue shelters. It gives dogs a break from being in shelter cages all day long, and it gives foster parents and shelters a chance to learn more about the pup's personality which may help encourage a family's decision to adopt in the future. If shelters know whether a dog likes to play or be around children, they can then help connect the pups with pr prospective pet owners who might be more drawn to those traits. Best part that it's basically free. Now we will go to our reporters out in the field for some interviews about Thanksgiving. My name is Caleb Conte. I'm here with Miss Cole. We're here to talk about Thanksgiving. Miss Cole, what is your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Eating the turkey is my favorite thing about Thanksgiving. What is your favorite food? Um, well, the turkey is probably my favorite, but also the desserts. I like all the desserts. What kind of dessert? Um, pumpkin pie, apple pie, any kind of pie, really. So pie it is. Mm -hmm. Why do you like Thanksgiving? Well, I like the food that all comes with it, but I also like all the family getting together and um, just spending time together. What does, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Thanksgiving to me means just a time of getting together with your family and giving thanks for all that you have and um, just being happy. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching.
Hello, my name is Dink Petty. We're here to talk about Thanksgiving. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? My favorite thing about Thanksgiving would be the food, of course, but actually um, getting my family together, my kids and grandson together, and my other family members, and just getting to see them. That's nice. Um, what is your favorite food? For Thanksgiving, my favorite food would be probably the ham and sweet potatoes and the pies and uh, probably just everything. <laughs> nice. Why do you like Thanksgiving? Um, I like Thanksgiving because, um, I mean, it's a day to give thanks. Um, I'm off work. <laughs> I get to see my family, and the next day is Black Friday shopping. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Um, Thanksgiving means to me, like I said, coming together with my family. Um, a lot of family members that I don't see all year long, and just getting my own little family together as well. Yeah, it's pretty nice to see the family, it you is, know? Yes, it is. And like I said, when you don't get to see certain ones all year long, usually on holiday, you get together. That's all we have today, thanks. Thank you for watching. This is PVTV. Hello, my name is Brandy with PVTV, here with Coach Dreyer at Perryville High School to ask questions about Thanksgiving. What is your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Uh, I'd say my favorite part of Thanksgiving is the food. I, I like to eat, and uh, I look forward to Thanksgiving every year. What does Thanksgiving mean to you? Thanksgiving to me means a uh, time to spend with family uh, and friends. A lot of my friends come in for Thanksgiving, so I get to spend some time with them, along with uh, all the good quality family time that we get. All right. What's your favorite food at the Thanksgiving dinner when you're uh, definitely a dressing. My mom makes a dressing with turkey in it, and I know I only get that one time a year, and I look forward to that every year. What do you think should happen more at Thanksgiving? What should happen more at Thanksgiving? More time to relax, because okay. Thanksgiving is a busy holiday. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. Hello. My name is Rylan with PVTV News here with Ms. Hoff at Perryville High School asking questions about Thanksgiving. What is your favorite part of Thanksgiving? When family and friends come together to share a meal and get together, you know, just get together stuff. What does Thanksgiving mean to you? Being thankful for all that you've got. That's it. Just being thankful. What is your favorite food? at Thanksgiving dinner? The spinach casserole. I make a spinach casserole that is to die for, and when my kids were little, they used to get the ruler out to measure to make sure the other one didn't get more than the other. You know, so spinach casserole. What does Thanksgiving should happen more Thanksgiving? Oh, I think people should be more thankful for what they've got than what they don't have. Um, being thankful for family, for friends, for the roof over their head, food on the table, just things like that. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays. Bye. And during the long hours of Thanksgiving, we tend to want to get away from our friends and family after the feast and maybe want to watch a good movie. Well, there are two good movies that you might consider. The first being Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It features Steve Martin and John Candy. Its plot is about two businessmen who are trying to get across the country to get to their families by Thanksgiving. Along the way, they face many hilarious challenges. Another good film would be Grumpy Old Men. Even though it doesn't have much to do with Thanksgiving, it's still a good festive movie that'll be put a, good, a grin on anyone's face. It features Jack Lemmon, Walter, Walter Matthew, and Anne Margaret. Its plot revolves around two men who ice fish during the winter and a woman mo moves in across the street to them and both sabotage each other to try and win her affection. That's all for us today. From all of us at PVTV News, have a happy Thanksgiving.